The way technology has impacted the way I teach is it's changed the way I deliver curriculum. That's been, aside from the fact that I teach technology, and that means that I believe that curriculum should be online. I don't think that we should be using textbooks anymore. Technology has allowed me to give um, individualized instruction to students who need um, extra help, extra support, um, either for enrichment or for remediation. So technology in my classroom is used currently, I obviously word processing is a big part of it because language arts, but I also use a lot of vi video presentation and uh, PowerPoint, love to use PowerPoint with the kids. It's uh, changed me from being a director to a facilitator and the students uh, teach me as much as I teach them. It's a very interactive environment and um, it's an awesome environment. Now that everything's online, not only can the students see the curriculum, but their parents can see it. So when the parents say, well, what will my child be learning in the class? I just take them to the website. I show them the whole curriculum. It gets everyone much more involved in the learning enterprise. I mean, that's what makes teaching exciting. And it has really allowed me to uh, branch out with those students and um, give them specifically things that they need to support their learning. The biggest challenge I face is most young people really like technology and use it a lot, but they're not really used to producing with it. They're used to consuming music, consuming video, listening to their music videos. Uh, sometimes um, if a computer's not working or if um, I have only four computers in the classroom and you know I need more students than that on the, on the computer. Um, the computer lab is open to us. Pretty much we sign up for a once a week lab period, but sometimes that's not enough. One of the biggest problems is the availability of software and um, hardware. And that is the biggest challenge. What's there, what's out there, what can we access at a reasonable cost? But you have to have patience. That's my number one thing. It's because with technology, I don't care what level of uh, expertise you have with technology, you're going to always run into technological obstacles. So Helping people understand, young people, that the switch from producer to from a consumer to producer and also to take on the responsibility that that entails, that's a really important transition. The other part of that challenge is the time factor. If I'm, um, if I need, you know, everyone's attention for a group lesson, that lessens the time for individual learning. Nortel Learning Stuff's awesome. Uh, for several reasons, the two main facets of the website are lesson plans and technology tutorials. Um, the best thing about the tutorials is the way they're broken up into three-minute segments, because that's kind of the way that you learn it as you're trying to use it as a teacher. Will they benefit? I've already benefited from Nortel Learn It. Nortel Learn It. I mean, awesome. I am only uh, completing my fourth year of teaching and very, very timid with technology, a novice in technology, and I have my students creating digital videos, uh, web page cre I'm creating web pages with my students, and we're doing a great job. I definitely think they'll benefit. Um, teachers are always looking for um, integrated lesson plans. And as long as they can find lesson plans matched to state standards, um, I think that's going to be a benefit for the classroom teacher all, all the way around. I'm, I'm really excited about it. I, was, uh, I have a little bit of, of fear about digital video and editing it and making it look good. And I was just exploring the tutorial and I thought that when I get home, I'm going to start learning. And the best thing about the lesson plans is um, it takes time to generate all that stuff and it takes time to learn the skills. So if right after you learn a skill, you don't have to spend a lot more time to get a good lesson plan, but you can just take a good one, maybe tweak it a little bit, put it right into action. That's really good. <laughs> it's really quick. Well, that's what I love about Nortel Learn is because it's so user friendly and you get right on there and those tutorials are so explicit and it shows you exactly how to navigate through the site so you can be successful and your students can also look at those tutorials and they're successful as well. Uh, the integration of the video pieces is, is a strong, a very strong point that the um, 
that the product has because a lot of times it takes it takes too much time to search for specific videos that match your learning objectives. So if they're already incorporated into the lesson plan, um, that's going to be very helpful for teachers and I think it's going to um, support their use of it. And it's not because of me, it's because of the tutorials that Nortel provides for both my students and myself.